In this tutorial, we'll see how to trigger API get request from Python. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to trigger it from Postman and from Postman, we can get the equivalent Python code. Let us copy this code and paste it into PyCharm. First, we'll try without making any changes. And you can see here it is request and it is using get method and URL is for getting all the interface configurations and headers it is sending application slash yang data in JSON format and authorization is base64 encoded username and password and here payload is empty and they are printing the response in a text format so let us try running this so here we are getting SSL validation error in postman we were manually disabling SSL verification and in case of curl we were giving hyphen k so we have to do same in python also and we can give verify equal to false and let us try running this so now we are getting the api response from the device and if you want to hide this warning what we can do is we can import from url lib exceptions import insecure warning then we'll give disable warning and now if you try running this we are not getting any SSL error and now let us look into this particular data so we'll try printing dir of response and type of response and this is a request object and we'll see all the supported methods and attributes so here we are getting this in a text format and we can even get it in JSON format and if you check the type of this data this is going to be in a string format and we'll try to get even the JSON format So the text data is in string format and when we use JSON, it is giving data in a dictionary format. And if you want to convert this into a dictionary format, we can create a variable here, t equal to response dot text and dictionary data equal to json dot loads this we have seen earlier in the data serialization example so we were using loads for 
converting string into python format and we are using loads here so now this also will be a python dictionary and now let us print dictionary data from pprint import pprint and I'll do a pprint here so this is dictionary and if you want to get any specific data from here copy this and we'll put this into a variable I will call this interface list because inside this I am getting interface list so let us create a variable here and we'll print interface list so now we are getting individual interfaces as the list element and we'll do a pprint of that data and we are getting each interface details here now we'll do a for loop here for interface in we'll call intf int list and then we'll do a print of intf so we are getting all the four interfaces and now if you want to print the interface details or IP we can give intf IP then address inside that we have primary and then we have address but if you print this you will be getting value error because the last two interfaces are not having IP so we can introduce a try except except and under except we were getting key error we'll give continue and let us try running this so now we are getting the interface IPs and I'll comment the previous print and here if you want to get the interface name I'll put gigabit ethernet plus and intf name now let us try running this I need to give intf here as well and we'll try running again so now we are getting interface name and IP 
and here we were converting this into dictionary instead of this even we can directly create a dictionary data from this just to show how to convert text into dictionary I was using this from this response we can directly create a dictionary using dot json so I'll create variable here let us try running this so now also we are getting the data now if you change the device IP still this will get the current details I'll give now we are getting the current IP and if you want to get a specific interface details we'll go to the yang suit and so here we need to give the interface name we need to give one equal here So we are getting the data here and we can copy same code I will paste the script here and will directly print the dictionary data and I'll apply the filter here for one so now I'm getting single interface details these are some basic examples of how to access API and filter the data.